visit Pokemon card market and buy Pokemon cards from base set up to latest evolution set with best prices, secured system and easy handling. Only for European players. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at Volcanion Ninetales Break. So Ninetales Break and with explosive fire growth. So 140 HP fire Pokemon uh, evolves from the Ninetales, so it's like a stage 2. With a very powerful attack in my opinion. So with one fire energy and one cover synergy, you can discard all fire energy attached to this Pokemon, and this attack will do 60 more damage for each fire energy you discard in this way. So 10 plus 60 for only two energies, that's like 130, featuring muscle bands, since this is expand format deck. It's 150 for two energy cards. It's not that bad, but it's stage two, so there, there's, there must be a catch with that. Of course, there is a catch. So with the blacksmith, we can easily power up energies. So in theory, one blacksmith for two energies, one energy from our hand, that's 180. Plus 10, that's 190. And plus muscle band, that's 210. It's pretty much enough to one hit knock at popular EXs like Manectric, Mega Manectric EX. Um, Giratina EX with Fighting Fury Belt, unfortunately not enough to knock out Darkrai EX for example with Fighting Fury Belt, but still it's a tons of damage counters for non EX attacker. And on the other side, if we uh, take a look on the Bright Look Ninetals with that powerful ability which says when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you might switch your opponent's active uh, Pokemon with his or her Banshee Pokemon. That's just so damn good. Because Bright Look is just very powerful uh, ability. Especially because we can still play support a card like a Blacksmith to power up two energies and then strike with our Ninetales Break. So in my opinion, it's very, very good card. Very, very damn good card. And on the other side, running one Barrier Shrine uh, ability Ninetales, who can actually help us to lock Stadium card in place so our opponent will not be able to play his Stadium. Also very, very good. So 13 Pokemon, 35 Trainer cards and 12 energies. Of course, four copies of Vulpix, four Ninetales and three Ninetales break. Vulpix is from uh, Primal Clash with the Roar, who can also uh, force your opponent to switch his or her active Pokemon one of his or her Banshee Pokemon, which is not that bad in my opinion also. I have two copies of Volcanion with the Power Heater, so I can start with it, turn one, maybe with the Muscle Band, strike for 40 and attach two energies from this compiled to my Vulpix. Really like that option. So, uh, since this is expanded format, of course, we need to have Battle Compressor. So, running two copies of Battle Compressor will help us to discard energies and the very important cards like a Bridget and the Blacksmith in our Discord pile, so we can get access on the Bridget turn 1, set a bench with the full Vulpix line, so turn 2 we can just easily level ball in the Ninetals, look, uh, use that bright look and basically um, force our opponent um, to uh, lose his or her active Pokemon with uh, our choice to decide who's uh, going to be active Pokemon from his or her bench of Pokemon. So definitely very good. Um, one copy of Dowsing Machine because we never know what we can use with the Dowsing Machine later from our discard pile. So we can pretty much put a trainer card, it can be supporter, item, whatever trainer card. Dowsing Machine in my opinion much better than Computer Search for this deck. Um, two copies of Level Ball of course. Level Ball will be just a uh, Nightless with a Bright Lock. It will also be Lysander, so very good. Um, option. One copy of Secret Dash, don't need to have two because I also run a uh, Dowsing Machine, so I can for example use Dowsing Machine for two times Secret Dash, so in my opinion very very good. Same thing for the Star of the Megaphone and the Trainer's Mail, so running three Trainer's Mails, four Ultra Balls and four V Seekers. In addition to that from supporter cards of course a single a Blacksmith, so I can attach two Furnishes from a Disco Pile to one of my Fire Pokemon. One copy of Bridget for that turn one setup. A Hex Maniac, always good to have, you never know when you can use it. Uh, one copy of a Lysander, also very uh, good card, but not that important since we also have that Ninetales with uh, Lysander ability. Two copies of N, uh, one copy of Olympia for the switch. You never know when we can start with uh, Volcanion. Since this is a deck without um, Floatstone, I just decide to run Olympia because it can help sometimes. And the Ninetales actually have one retreat cost, so it's not the big problem to retreat it, but it's a big problem to retreat maybe Volcanion if stuck with uh, without Floatstone in the extra spot. In addition to that, one copy of Ranger, of course, for those Glaceons, uh, if we meet them, very important to have. Four copies of Professor Juniper, 
and one copy of Wally -E as a tag. So basically, turn one I can have one of my nine tools. So really like that. I can even turn one lock my opponent's stadium, for example. So it's also not that bad. But for example, uh, I can grab that nine tools, uh, use Barrier Shrine, and uh, pretty much with uh, three energies, I can also use that Flickering Flames. But probably I'm not going to use that because it's just weak attack. Um, two copies of Scorch it hurts, of course, so I can discard Fire Energy from my hand in order to drop two extra uh, cards. Two copies of Muscle Band for the damage increasement. Twelve energies, four of them are Burning Energies, and eight Fire Regular Energies, which conclude this deck to total cards 60. So, definitely very, very good deck. A um, lot of uh, fun with it. It's also very cheap for Expanded. I mean, Bell Compressor right now is like maybe one box. Uh, one dollar, um, dowsing machine, maybe two bucks stops. Um, all other cards, pretty much, if you play trading card game, you should have them pretty much because they are um, staples. So, yeah, definitely, I very like this deck and I really enjoy playing Nidal's Break because it's just so damn good. And uh, that's the reason why I decided to build another Nidal's Break deck for the expanded format. So, let's do some game tests so you can actually see this deck in action and how it performs. So, see you in the game. It's time to call heads. So I want the coin flip, and I'm starting first. Hopefully, my opening hand will contain that Volcano, so I can start with it. Unfortunately, nope. But at least there's a Scorchy Dirt, Trainer's Mail, Fire Energy. Uh, there's even Olympia, which is a great card. I can uh, even uh, retreat my Vulpix for free turn one. Oh, Rainbow Road, Xerneas on the other side. Okay, let's just play that Scorchy Dirt. Let's go with the Trainer's Mail. Um, there's a Battle Compressor, kinda like this card. So hopefully uh, I can find my Blacksmith. Bridget. Bridget is priced. And that's not good. Definitely. Okay, so two energies to be discarded. One Trainer's Mail. And uh, maybe I can hit level ball, maybe I can't hit level ball, Scorchy Dirt, okay there's a dowsing machine for another battle compressor, or maybe blacksmith turn one, how good is that, mm, it's not that good I guess, um, ultra ball for Olympia and another fire energy, so I can put that a Vulcanian on the bench. More than that, 1N. It's very important to set up my Vulpix. Um, I, wish, I wish I had that Bridget, so I can just simply uh, set my uh, Pokemons with the Bridget, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Another Battle Compressor. So with another Battle Compressor, I can discard some other supporter cards, like a Lysander, like a, a Pokemon Ranger. I will not need them. them. And uh, more than that, this is going to be it. This is definitely going to be it. I just need energy for the next turn, um, which I can easily get with my Blacksmith. So I don't need to worry too much. I'm just going to pass my turn, unfortunately, without energy attached to my Vulpix. Wish I had one on my Vulpix so I can retreat on my Volcanion, but it is how it is. There's one Professor Sycamore, a huge Sycamore for my opponent. I see one Flowstone, V-Seeker, Lysander, and two energy switches already has been discarded. So definitely a um, very promising start for me, because probably he's not going to be able to get that Max Elixir energy, double course energy, energy switch for um, turn one Rainbow Road in the active spot. And I kind of like that. So one Battle Compressor for... Oh, he played um, Rainbow Road with the ho oh he X. Okay, so Robert Tails, luckily. Whew. Okay, there's Mr. Kelly OEX, Double Chorus. I kind of like this. Evolution Double Chorus Energy. There's one Rushing. And uh, my turn. So my turn, my top deck. Hmm. My turn, my top deck. I guess I can use my blacksmith. I guess I can use my blacksmith. Um, but I, I also think that I can use my Olympia. 
I have two different options here to do. Um, first thing I'm going to do is evolve my Volpix into Ninetales and catch his Xerneas without energy card. Second thing I'm going to do is energy attachment onto my Vulpix. Or maybe not. Energy attachment onto my Volcanion. Be Seeker for Blacksmith. So I can power up my Vulpix in the active spot with two energies. Okay. Then I can retreat for one. And then I can uh, power up with my power heater two more. Okay, there we go. That's good. So, the reason I didn't want to evolve active Vulpix and have two energies on it because uh, somehow I think it's much important in case that my opponent can somehow find Lysander and knock out my Vulpix with two energies, it's much more important than to lose Nineties because he is evolution. It's a big risk, but uh, still it worked. So there's a energy switch, which means that he can easily uh, use his Rainbow Road and strike for like a 90. Actually, Rainbow Force. I don't know why I'm calling this attack Rainbow Road. There is a Fire Energy card. Where should it be attached? We can go with energy on our Ninetals. And uh, with Johnny Per 4 a 7. So I'm searching for a few more uh, Vulpix so I can put more resources on them. One Muscle Band, one Muscle Band to my active Volcanion so I can uh, strike for 40 in this way. And uh, I can power up how many energies from my disc pile. I have only one energy left, so that one energy will be attached to my uh, Nightless. All right, not bad. Next turn, I have... Oh, there's a Hex Maniac, so... Not gonna be able to Lysander and knock out his ho on the bench. He took one prize. I have Lysander, which means that I can Lysander on the bench. But I need something bigger and better. I need Ninetales Break. Without Ninetales Break, I can't simply do too much. There's another Vulpix, which is a very nice card. One Burning Energy definitely gonna be attached to my Vulpix on the bench. And one Professor Johnniper for 7. I don't need to think too much about Johnniper here, I just need to hit my Ninetales Break, and I managed to do that. There is one copy of a Level Ball, which will give me the opportunity to take my another Ninetales and put it into play. Okay, unfortunately, since he played Hex Minion, I can't do anything else, so that's it. I'm going to use my Explosive Fireball and I'm going to strike for a 1, 210. 210, just like that. 210, I discard all energies and I get rid of one of his um, Xerneas's. Next turn he can strike for not too many damage counters. Not too many damage counters, um, there's a Battle Compressor, which is a good thing. Because I can knock him out next turn, pretty much easily. And the very important thing is that I have one Burning Energy attached onto my Ninetales down to the bench. I will definitely need that Scorched Earth, so I can, uh, re uh, not the Scorched Earth, uh, Secret Dash, so I can recycle my uh, Pokemons back. But it uh, looks like I managed to survive here, so one Ultra Ball. Or another Ninetals with a Bright Lock will give me the access to the Lysander. There we go. Of course, I want to activate it on his Xerneas. I think this game is over because I have Olympia in my discard pile. But I also have Blacksmith, which means that I can just use V Seeker um, for the Blacksmith. Add two Fire Energies to my active Ninetals break and strike for 150. So that's pretty much enough to one hit knock out his Xerneas and he is definitely in a very very big, uh, big problem. I managed to take one prize which is a Hex Maniac, he don't have attacker in play, I mean he can always attack with the uh, Ho-Oh he X, but uh, not for too many damage counters. There is Sycamore for 7, 
On the next turn, I can easily uh, grab another um, Bright Lock because I have Dowsing Machine and I can level ball for another Nineties. There's a Flowstone onto Keldeo so he can rush in retreat. Oh, there's even Darkrai with the Dark Lock, but it's my turn. So he just decided to pass, which means that I'm going to use my V Seeker here for Olympia. And with Olympia, I can retreat onto my Nineless Break. And the most important thing is that I can use my Explosive Fireball for enough damage counters for the knockout. 190. And two energies are going to be discarded. One will be bring it back with that um, Burning Energy. And the most important thing for the next turn is that I have Dowsing Machine sitting in my hand and I can use anything that I need, like uh, Dowsing Machine for that um, Blacksmith, and I can add two more energies onto my Nightless Break and one hit knockout on my opponent, Dark Ray EX, and finish the game. So there's one Super Road. He definitely needs to uh, to uh, bring back those Xerneas, which he did. Okay, so Shamin with uh, Aroma of Gratitude and uh, Shamin EX with a setup. There is a Xerneas. I'm afraid because he can even one hit knock out my um, Nightless Break here very easily because there is a lot of different cards in his deck, but he already played three copies of uh, energy switches. So <sighs> that's definitely very bad for him. There's another double chorus energy and uh, another Xerneas. I don't see Max Lux here. There's even Jolty on EX. Okay, his bench looks like uh, ready to go right now. Um, shame in EX. But this is the reason why I enjoy playing this game because simply you can just simply you can just um, build cheap deck and be competitive. That's 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 just insane. That's all about the Pokemon trading card game. You don't have to spend a tons of money uh, to build. Um, decent deck that can actually beat Tar 1 decks. As you can see, that Xerneas Rainbow Road deck on the other side worth like a uh, couple hundred bucks. When comparing to the Nightless Break, Nightless Break worth maybe only 40 50 bucks tops. And as you can see, I managed to um, knock out my opponent's Pokemon without any problems. So that's just um, pure magic of those budget decks. Alright guys, so the game number two is about to start. So I'm so excited about this Nightless Break. It's so damn good. It's so damn good. The best part of this deck is that you can one hit knock out your opponent EX is in exchange for one price because Nightless is non EX attacker. Alright, so looks like another fairy deck on the other side. According to the sleeps. Oh, cool. Starting with my Blue Canyon. Um, there's a Trainer's Mail and the Battle Compressor in my opening hand, so hopefully, hopefully I can hit um, Trainer's Mail for maybe V-Seeker. And with the Battle Compressor I can maybe discard um, Bridget. That would be great. Definitely. So, Shame in EX. Oh, okay. That hurts. That hurts. Always when you start with the Shame in EX hurts. That is for sure. There's one Acrobike. Right now I can see maybe... Okay, there's one Trainer's Mail. Still, I can't see Spoil what my opponent plays on the other side. Up, switch discarded. Okay, two Acrobikes discarded for Switch and Trainer's Mail. There's a Ultra Ball. Let's see, Ultra Ball 4. Oh, Mega Guard of War EX. With a Desperay. Okay, just like that for the Hoopa EX. Of course, he discarded two Gardevoir's EX because he can pick them up with the Dragonite EX. There's one Scorched Earth. Uh, Scorched Earth uh, Scandering Ring. I'm going crazy today. I I was um, awake um, till almost 2 o'clock in the morning because uh, I was opening uh, some booster boxes. And after that, I was just um, sorting all of these cards, and uh, that took so many times. 
Okay, so um, two God Wars and another Mr. Shamaniax for another setup. I still didn't see a single supporter card play from my opponent, so hopefully he's not going to be able to play end turn one because I'm going to be very mad on that end turn one because I have that battle compressor here. Okay, so he passes the turn. Let's first see what we can find with the trainer's mail. Professor Johnny Per. Yes, I'm I'm in definitely. Very important is to attach muscle band on your Vulpix because you simply want to strike for 100 and uh, uh, for a 210. So that's very important. Again, there's a blacksmith and a couple fire energies to be discarded. I don't want to take a risk, so I will just attach one energy onto my Volcanion and Sycamore for 7. Actually, Juniper for 7. So, um, there is another level ball, which is kind of great, but I will just use my Ultra Ball for Juniper and the Fire Energy, so I can bring that uh, Vulpix number 2 in play. Simply with the level ball, I can grab Nine Tools, so I can have that um, catch ability. So, two cards, two Fire Energies on my Vulpix. I'm looking forward, maybe next turn, to play VE Seeker for N. Um, active my Bright Look and try to Lysander my opponent Hoopa, if that's going to be possible. But probably not going to be possible because he's just going to uh, knock out my Vul uh, Vulcanion here. Unfortunately, there's a Mega Turbo. And uh, yeah, he can easily get rid of my Vulcanion already. That's, that's simply very bad. I'm going to lose my attacker so fast. At least there's a Bridget. So I can I can maybe hmm, at least I can use um, Roar, but still he can attack with just single energy with that dimension wall in play. And that just scares me. Um, so definitely what I need what I need here is opportunity somehow to find my Scorched Dirt and lock that Scorched Dirt in play. Because this is going to be very important. Let's see what I can find with the Trainer's Mail. I can find another V Seeker. I guess I will take better Professor Juniper instead of that. Um, definitely Bridget. Definitely Bridget. So I can completely expand my bench. Energy on Vulcanium, um, one Ninetals, so I can active that ability and uh, Lysander his Shaman. Of course, I have to retreat and use my um, Power Heater. Two energies, one on my Ninetals and one onto my Vulpix. Next turn, luckily I can go for 210 if he missed opportunity to knock out my Ninetals on the bench. This is going to be very important. And uh, I hope that he's not going to be able to uh, one-hit knock at my Ninetals on the bench. It's very, very important. So let's take a look at that next turn. Big disadvantage for me is definitely that I don't have another uh, Ninetals in play. Simply, I couldn't afford to take another Ninetals here with my Ultra Ball. I simply didn't want to do that. Uh, because in that case, I would discard my Juniper and Lysander. That's simply not good. Okay, one Shamaniax for a couple more cards with that setup. Okay, not bad. So, no, another end. Okay, at least, at least, at least I will have my Nightles for the next turn. That's for sure. So, I just need Vulpix, uh, I just need um, another Ninetals score. Okay, there's a Scorchy Dirt. Oh, darn, Super Scoop Up. Come on, what else he had in his deck? I really hate that Guard War deck. It's just bad. For one energy, you can strike for so many damage counters. It, it's just unbalanced. It's just broken deck. Why in the world will they um, print something that can strike for 180 with just a single energy card. It just does not make any sense. I mean, the same thing is with the Night March, but I don't know. Somehow, I just simply don't like the, those kind of the decks. Desperate, probably for 130 again, discarding two Shamans. 
Do I have another option than promote my Nightbulls in the Echo Spot? Well, I guess I don't have too many options. I simply need to put my Scorchy Dirt here. I simply need to grab with my level ball my Ninepulse so I can lock his Stadium. That's 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 very important. No more Stadiums for my opponent. Um, then I can pretty much go with one copy of a, a Wally, but then I can't use my Blacksmith. So I simply need to take my Ultra Ball and get access onto my Nightless Break here. And then I can simply play my Bee Seeker for a Blacksmith and add some energies onto my Nightless, which is the way that I can go, or I can just simply go with N. I think I will just go with uh, N, so I can also put my opponent down to uh, less resources than he actually has right now. If I miss energy, this is gonna be so sad, but I'm hoping for that burning energy. Oh, okay, two burning energies and the ninepulls, which is the most important thing. Okay, so one burning energy and one more ninepulls. We don't have to switch our pawn active Pokemon. We just want to go with Explosive Fireball for 210. So it's gonna be enough for the knockout. And just like that, next time I can Blacksmith and knock out one more of my opponent and my Mango Guard was in play for 210. Um, if I manage to survive with my Ninels breaking the epic spot. If I don't, then I simply need to find another way to knock him out. And another way will be to get another uh, Muscle Band here. Okay. A V Seeker for N. So we are both equaled right now to 4, hoping to get that Muscle Band. Okay, there's a Muscle Band. And oh, Desperate, just for 110. Just for 110. So the game is over, unfortunately, for my opponent. Um, there's another Muscle Band and uh, Burning Energy. The most important thing is that I have Dowsing Machine. Right now, guys, you can see how important and how good Dowsing Machine really is for this deck. It's just so good card, in my opinion. Much better than um, Computer Search or any other Ice Pack for this kind of deck because you simply need to have that um, Blacksmith when you need it. So 270, Ninetales Break, a Knocked Out, Mega Guard of War, and uh, finish the game in a huge style. You even have two more engines for the next turn to attack, which is just amazing. I really like how the deck works. It is definitely a great deck. It's budget friend deck, so if you're looking forward to play a um, decent deck in expanded format that, that's actually uh, based around the fun, because um, there's some kind of the players that actually don't care about um, playing top competitive decks and be a top competitive, something like me. I, I more prefer um, playing for the fun. This is definitely one of the great deck. Uh, to try out because that Ninetales with the Bright Lock can just uh, do so much problems to your opponent and it can surprise him from nowhere and that Ninetales break uh, with Explosive Fireball can strike for so many damage especially with the uh, Burning Energies as often as you have more than uh, one Burning Energy you can just go for 150 each turn as long as you have for at least two Burning Energies it's just crazy. Once again guys I hope you enjoy watching this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more future videos uh, let me know what you think about this deck in the comments below uh, if you would like to see anything else just let me know types in the comments below I will try to um, make that deck that you would like to see so till the next time as usual have a nice day wherever you are and see you in the next video so goodbye